Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to access files from a QNAP hardware RAID system, what to do if you accidentally deleted some information, formatted the hard disk, or if your NAS device is out of order. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. A QNAP NAS storage system consists of several hard disks. To improve resilience and data safety, such devices enable you to create RAID systems of various types. However, even the most reliable storage systems may encounter emergencies like accidental deletion of files, formatting or damaging the hard disk, system errors, controller failures, and other hardware issues, which may result in loss of important data. If the device works properly and you just removed some important files by accident, you can try restoring them from the network recycle bin. You can configure the network recycle bin or check its settings by accessing Control Panel, Network and File Services, Network Recycle Bin. Check if this option is enabled. Then make sure it is enabled for the specific folder from where the files were deleted. Click on this Shared Folder link Find the required directory in the list and click on the Folder Property button to modify its settings. The option to enable Network Recycle Bin must be checked. Alright, now that the Shared Folder option is enabled, the deleted files must be in that folder and they can be recovered with a single click. Open File Station and go to the directory where the removed files used to be stored. You will see a folder with the name at Recycle, which contains all files deleted from this directory. Select them and click Recover to have them reappear in the original location. If your QNAP device won't turn on, it may be out of order. But what can you do with all the data that's still on the disk? There is no way to access the files by just connecting the disk to the computer. You can try replacing the device itself, but there is no guarantee that the information will still be intact after you configure the new server. Take the disks out of the QNAP device and remember the order in which they were arranged. This is something you will need for the recovery process. Usually, disk base have corresponding factory markings. After that, put the drives into the new QNAP in the same order we have just mentioned. If the damage has not affected the storage devices and their contents, your new system is likely to work as if nothing happened. However, you should take into account the chances of the new device overwriting the data remaining on the disks. That is why it is better to use specialized data recovery tools and avoid taking unnecessary risks. There is Hetman RAID Recovery to give you a helping hand so that you can restore data both from healthy RAID systems and from separate disks within such arrays. Even if some of the disks are damaged and unreadable, this utility will be able to read the information which remains on the other disks. For illustration purposes, we've got a NAS with four disks, three of them combined into a RAID 5 system. As to the file system, all QNAP devices have been using EXT for many years. Let's simulate a scenario when the controller or another hardware element breaks down suddenly. Before you start the recovery process, make sure you have a storage device with a capacity equal to or larger than the amount of data stored on your RAID system. When you have it, connect the disks to a Windows computer. 
The usual problem with connecting multiple disks is that your computer may not have enough set of ports or power connectors. However, this can be fixed with various power splitter adapters and expansion cards. Check one of the previous videos for more information. Make sure that everything is connected properly, power on the computer, download, install and run Hetman RAID Recovery. When launched, it will scan the disks automatically, combine them into a RAID and display all the information about it. Right-click on the array, select Open and start with a fast scan. If the disks and data are, da are not damaged, this will suffice to restore the information from your RAID system. But if the fast scan can't find the information you need, then go for full analysis. The data we are looking for is stored in the folder named Multimedia, uh, where it was uploaded through the device's web interface. All you have to do is to select the files to be restored, click Recovery, choose the directory where to save the files, click Next and Recover again. All the files will be placed in the folder you have specified. Many users wonder how to recover a RAID system if one disk is down. In theory, you only need to replace the faulty disk and everything will just work as before. However, things may go wrong from time to time, and during the recovery process you may encounter an error or some other nasty thing that may result in loss of data. QNAP uses a Linux MD RAID driver to manage RAID storage systems. If these records are damaged, uh, the operating system cannot access the RAID volume, and to the user this situation looks like a typical scenario of data loss. However, Hetman RAID Recover can restore data even when MD RAID records are damaged and when one or several disks fail. Anyway, remember that the best way to avoid a loss is to back up your stuff regularly. QNAP supports a lot of third-party tools to back up your files and even entire disks to external storage devices, remote servers or cloud services. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.